Welcome to In Bed with Natasha. I'm here with my special guest, Charlene DeLuca. So we're here to talk about how blondes have fun in bed, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good morning, actually. Good morning. Yeah. And oh, how blondes have fun in bed with shoes, because my next guest here today is fabulous, young shoe designer. I say young because you 26. are. 26. 26. Oh my gosh, I know, because I'm looking at 24. <laughs> but I mean, you've had so much experience so far over such a young age, and you've been traveling a lot as well. Yes, I love to travel. Like, traveling is my okay biggest uh, passion after shoes, because shoes are yeah. my first love. And uh, I graduated in architecture in New York. Yes, I lived London, there yeah. Yeah, for a couple of years, two years and a half. And uh, after that, I knew I wanted to focus on shoe okay. design and Italy, made in Italy. So that was a prerogative for me to come back yeah. and live in Italy. And I worked at Fendi. Yeah, I was reading about that. So wait, uh -huh. you've been so you've been moving. So you're from Rome. Let's tell everyone that yes. you are Roman. Roman lived in. Both Rome. parents are from Rome. Parents are from Rome, yes. So what is how, what inspires a young Roman girl to get so serious at the age of 26? I know. I, I mean, was considered count kind of like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say because I think about shoe design is that people think that it's something that it's just creative, but it's, it's actually really, there's a lot of architecture and yeah. uh, a lot of technical techni uh -huh, technicalities exactly. that come to shoe design. And, it can be quite tedious. Exactly. <laughs> I honestly, this was a big surprise. I knew yeah. it would have been like a very tedious thing and a very uh, like time consuming uh, job, but I never would have thought that it actually demands this amount of uh, attention Absolutely. and uh, preciseness. And there can't be a single thing that goes wrong on a shoe. Yeah. If not, like you lose it all. Well, one of the hardest things also, were, as a woman who wears shoes, I was saying that, um, you know, if the shoe doesn't fit, it could exactly. really ruin your day or your night. Or that, you know, special and moment. your career. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're... you're yeah, you're, exactly. So what is it that made you get into, or, you know, into shoe design? So work? as we were saying, uh, what made me get into shoe design was just my obsession about shoes. So okay. I started working as, as uh, an architect at Fendi, but okay. I was sketching, you know, on those uh, yeah. notepad shoes all the time and like having yeah. architecture and shoes together at the same yeah. time. So one day I have lunch with the um, shoe designer director at Fendi and I told him, listen, my dream is like to be a shoe designer. I would really like to do it. And he said, show me what you do. Yeah. And I show him like my sketches. Like in th three days yeah. I was drawing all the shoes like pretty and having my, no, my, wow. yeah, my book because I didn't, like my sketches were really small sketches. And he was like, I think you should really try and take this path and uh, have this adventure. So I decided, they offered me like actually a good job at Fendi yeah. with the contract and everything, yeah. but I decided to, to just to make on your own there, yeah. And but um, it's quite hard though, being so young and you know starting out in a city like Rome, which isn't Milan, which isn't a fashion mm -hmm. capital. I mean, even though there are a few brands like Fendi, yeah. Gucci, Bruni that are based there, but still, I mean, why did you not think, having lived in New York, having lived in London, why did you not think, oh, I'm going to go to Milan or New York or London? Honestly, um, Rome is the city I travel all the time, okay. as you can imagine. So I'm yeah. in New York, I'm in uh, Milan, I'm in Paris. I My actual work is based out, off of Milan, so all my press team and my yeah. sales team are all in Milan. But Rome is the place I love to be to design and to... Okay. My factories are in Florence. Okay. So it's just an hour train ride from, all right. uh, from okay. Florence. Yeah. And it's... I just, I don't know, I love, I love being in Rome uh, when I'm free, like, to concentrate on my project and yeah. just, I'm there only when I have the time to, like, really either enjoy the city or yeah, of course. myself to design. Well, so I guess if you can, if you can do it that way, then <laughs> <laughs> being leisurely in Rome is nothing exactly. better, like, it's like being exactly. a holiday in Rome. So tell me about the brand. When you started designing shoes, oh, did you ever think, okay, 
I want to be a shoe designer because I know what women want, or I know what you know, how women want to wear shoes. So I started or, by from the idea that what I knew and what I had studied for all my life was architecture and design. Yeah. So geometries and all these uh, structures. Yes, we've seen that a lot more from these kind of shoes. Yeah. And the, the way you design um, uh, an architecture project is that you start from a concept and yeah. then you develop it and apply it on a building, on a room, on, a, on an architecture piece. And I, do, I started doing the same things with shoes, so I took like a, a shape, a geometry yeah. or a concept and I started applying it on the shoe. And this, for example, is a very structured architectural piece and it's been my signature heel since yeah. I started and it's been my best selling piece and yes. the most covered. Is it comfortable? <laughs> it is comfortable because the challenge here was uh, having like the weight centered, obviously not in the place where the cut is. But okay, so how does here. that work? So, okay, so is that why you have this cut then? Right? Yeah, so this doesn't doesn't make a difference. Like okay. the cut doesn't make a difference in balance, balance wise no, or, okay. or, or comfort wise because it's this point here yeah. is the point where the whole weight of the body like uh, is okay. Uh, is so Charlene, have you spent a night out partying in yes. the shoes? Many nights. How many nights hours before? can you go? You on have to spend one of your nights. I know exactly. I need to try and test it. Basically, yeah, you have to. Okay, test if it. I try and test it, if I come back and my shoe feet don't hurt, then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be buying <laughs> into this shoe, but. I suppose it's got a plateau inside yes. as well, though. Yes, there's a small plateau inside of a centimetre. But it's high. high. That's like, a, is that 13? Uh, well? No, this is an 11. Oh, 11, but the okay. the pitch is only 95. Okay, all right then. So it's, it's a, really, you have to try okay. it. It's not bad. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying it's bad at all. It looks great, Trust that's me. for sure. It looks fabulous. And from that, I started developing uh, new heels and new structures. So this, for example, is uh, more of a block heel with a blade on the back, yeah. so still at the same time very geometrical yeah. and very architectural, let's say, in a way. But uh, since the last collection, I wanted to challenge myself more and bring more femininity mm -hmm. into the collection, like always keeping very geometric shapes and very geometric lines. So that's hence this shoe here. Exactly. And this collection was inspired to the world of the performing arts. So burlesque, okay. uh, can-can, okay. music, All right. everything in performance. So I started to have so much fun. Okay. So <laughs> now you're having more girl fun. Yes, exactly. So what's happening now? What's As a young designer, I mean, what's your next project? I mean, and what is... What's the future as a young designer living in Rome, young shoe designer? How difficult is it to get into the market? How difficult is it to compete with these big brands? Because there's so much yeah. emergence right now. It's a really hot moment exactly. here. That's the thing. <coughs> the thing is, I think that it's a very hot time for emerging designers. Yeah. So the market is uh, very competitive. It's not yeah. like before, maybe if there were two or three emerging designers, they everyone had their own space. Yeah. Like here, you need to carve your section of the market so, out. But who is the Charlene DeLuca woman? Who wants to buy a Charlene DeLuca shoe? Says, I need shoes. <laughs> I need a knows. cool, young, a younger yeah. customer than the Fendi customer, definitely. And uh, um, a woman that wants to feel, let's say, empowered and a very strong woman that wants to do something different. Yeah. That doesn't want to be in the Fendi or in the Gucci uh, but I mean, in terms of longevity, you have to think also that, I mean, I consider myself or I think of myself as somebody that sources out, seeks out young designers yeah. all the time, because I like that, uh, to, to wear or to make statement pieces. But in longevity, if you're building your business, I guess you can't rely on just those kind of women. So do you feel like on a design level, at some point you need to exactly. become so, more commercial? Uh -huh. I hate to say the word, but... It's, it's a, the C word, I call yeah. it. It's a terrible It's kind of like, you know, is there, is there that thought in the, the head of a designer? Um, do you have pressure from your manufacturers or...? No, from also from like the, the big stores or the department Ooh. stores, for example. Uh, I'm selling the collection at Saks Fifth yeah. Avenue. They love this style, this is what they started out with, yeah. but obviously now we need to cover a bigger range exactly. of customers because yeah. they have like very they big They need you to grow as well. Exactly, yeah. and they need me to yeah. grow into a more mature yeah. line, let's yeah, say. Yeah. So definitely my ambition is to keep always like my signature geometries and my very clean shapes and my very 
clean lines with very well crafted shoes. Yeah. And uh, also for a more, let's say, uh, for a more mature customer yeah. or a customer that uh, wants the perfect shoe in their closet that they can wear over and over okay. again. I just want to get a little bit of insight to people of how much work there really is in this. I mean, you know, lay it down. I mean, what do you do? I mean, you, your job, you work night and day, basically. Exactly. And you're married all, to your married to this <laughs> career choice. And I'm married too, so that's Oh, you're married? Oh, my God. Wow, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Just got married. Oh, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Fabulous. Thank sir. you. So basically then, this is a job though, like full time. More than yeah. full time. Like I thought it would have been a full time job, so I left my job and everything. But I thought I would like be designing shoes and like... It's going to be glamorous, exactly. designing shoes. You didn't realize. It's like 80% business yeah. or like planning out and like... Yeah. And 10, 20% designing. Mm. That's the time that we get to spend on this. And it's really hard like having to deal with the production, producers, the, uh, suppliers, and uh, then you also need to like spend time with the press or be out there and be the face, look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like you wake like up in the morning problem with the production. Yes, and you're over the phone. So like just under we the can table. like just let people know that if you are thinking about becoming a shoe designer or think having your own twice. brand. <laughs> no, it's the best job in the world, I think. But it is a really but good job. Uh, very, very full time job. So in Italy, just quickly, where are you selling right now? So your main points here in Italy, or your main stores around the world? You said Saks. Uh, yes. Just across the street. In yeah. Viaggio. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we we'll go over by on it. Yes. Okay, perfect. And uh, then uh, online as yeah. well. So shop up, shoe scribe. Yeah. Or maybe, or All your so biggest, the, the yeah, big ones. Supporters, and. Um, there are various. Okay, we're going to stop it. Thank yes, you so, so much. Yeah, so Visit my website. Thanks so Thanks much for being here. I'm to try and get my foot into that now. Yes. <laughs> Please Take care. Do. Bye. 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 Thank you.